Hello Sagittarius, I'm Adriana and today for your reading we're trying something a little different. I'm asking the question, what is the rift between my soul and myself that is asking to be recognized and healed at this time? So that is our main focus, main question, and then we'll see what messages kind of bifurcate or branch off of it. So we're going to start with a Major Arcana theme card for you. Actually, it looks like it's going to be two. And we have the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune, double one. So this is exciting. This is about recognizing your manifesting power and recognizing how much control you truly have over your destiny. If you're not feeling in control of your future, if you're not feeling in control of the life that is unfolding at present and into the future, that is what your soul is trying to get you to remember, that you are very much in control of what's happening, what you're drawing towards you, what kind of lessons you're attracting, what kind of situations are coming to you for your growth. There's a lot I just feel with these two cards, we're really talking about the impact of the individual, of you, the soul, you, the soul energy on the universe, like a direct connection there. There isn't layers of stuff in the way. This is that direct connection, direct manifesting. So what you get out, no, what you get back is symptomatic of what you've been putting out. So if you're not happy with what you've been putting out, it's time to really look at, or no, I'm not saying this right, if you're not happy with what you've been getting back, if you're not happy with the way life is around you, it's time to look at what you've been putting out into the universe. What have you been feeding it with your words? What have you been feeding it with your actions? And where can you realign and where can you get closer to what you truly want because there's a quickness or a, a an amplification of power so the kind of thing where you know generally when we want to manifest something we have the buffer of time and it, we don't generally manifest instantly because there's this buffer of time to give us a little bit of a breathing space to make sure that we don't need to tweak anything but what I feel like is happening for you, Sagittarius, is that that time buffer is getting smaller and smaller and smaller. So it's like you can literally think your world into existence quickly. All right. So watch everything. Watch your thoughts. Watch your actions. Watch your conversations, but mostly watch your thoughts. Okay. Let's see what else. Where is Sagittarius seeing most of that energy being played out? Where is the main arena for this energy? <clears throat> There's a lot of eyes on this Magician card, just hidden. So there's an eye there, there's an eye on the ground. So it's like there's these hidden, hidden watchers. And I don't mean that in a creepy kind of way or a, um, what's the word, looming? pre when something you get a, a pre sentiment of it and it, it's not good it's not forewarning it's there's not those kinds of eyes but it's like keep an eye out for yourself keep an eye on what you're doing so paying attention that's really the big thing here all right okay <laughs> the cards did not want to Come together the two halves of the deck didn't want to come together my guides at the same time were saying now pull the cards now nine of swords two of swords prince of cups and ace of pentacles so what are we missing we're missing fire so this is effectively most this is affecting you mostly on the mental realm where anxiety and fear are preventing you from seeing a clear way forward and wanting to make a clean break, wanting to see a clear way forward. So 
We're tying this back. We're tying this back to these two cards, the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. There's definitely an energy that feels stuck where you don't know which way to go. Either one path is going to lead to this anxiety and this apprehension, or the other path is going to lead to the first step on your path to manifesting your desire. This might even be, this combination of cards could be a relationship starting, although I don't feel that way, but it could be that based on what these cards are. And, um, but we're stuck in the middle in this two of swords, really not sure where to take this. Okay, give us some more here. Princess of Pentacles, Three of Cups, Ace of Cups, Six of Wands, and the Sun. Okay. So there is a part of you that wants to come out that is dying to be expressed. The Sun, the self-expression, creativity. Um, I'm not feeling that there's every card has different meanings and so sometimes certain meanings just don't feel right in the given situation so for you right here there is it's like you want part of your heart to be recognized and you want part of your heart to be seen and valued and you're willing to put yourself out there but you also don't feel like it's taking root. It's not taking hold that it's like, okay, I'm doing what I need to do. I'm saying what I need to say, <clears throat> putting my energy forward, but nothing is kind of staying or taking root. This princess of pentacles is, is angled away from the spread. And it's more like she, she is that taking root energy and it's just not happening for you, Sag. So, what layer are they missing? What layer is Sag missing? I'm going to jump to an Oracle advice card here because the, the real, if we go back to our theme of what, pay attention to what you're manifesting, pay attention, pay attention. The fact that you're here stuck at this crossroads is a manifestation of itself. You have manifested this crossroads. You have manifested this impasse that you see. And so the real question is, why have you manifested this impasse for yourself rather than the clear, the clear path that you want to see? This is your clear path. But why, why have you manifested for you to be torn between sticking to the past, even though you're, you're anxious about it and moving into the future? Why have you manifested this impasse? That is that is really the question we need to be asking here. Okay, I'm going to draw an oracle card. It may end up that we draw some other cards as well. Okay. Trust your own understanding. So trusting yourself, going inside, knowing what it is that you want. So is this impasse really there? Or have you just put it there because you don't want to go in to yourself? You don't want to go within and ask yourself what it is that you truly want or um, why this desire hasn't, hasn't taken full root. Let me check the book and just make sure I've got everything that you need. Look deeply into the situation before making any commitments. Isn't that funny with this magician we talked about, all the eyes looking. Um, you have the foresight to discern that there is more, there is more here than meets the eye. Everything will be revealed in the appropriate time. Be patient and allow things to unfold as they will. Trust in your own observations and knowledge. They hold your truth. Okay, so the impasse isn't your truth. 
that is something that you have manifested because you weren't one, either sure of your truth or you weren't wanting to see your truth. But now, Sag, you're being really challenged to go and look at all of these beautiful intuition colors in here, the dark blues and the flow. You're being really, really challenged to take, she's wearing, this is a mask, to take this mask off and to really, really be honest with yourself about what it is that you want. Because really, if you feel yourself stuck, you have manifested that there. Okay. Trust yourself. Trust what you're seeing. Trust what you're getting. And I'm going to just draw some cards real quick because I have a, a sense of where we're going, but I want a little clarification. Six of fire, which we've gotten before, six of wands, and five of earth. Wow, God, those are such disparate energies. I mean, look at that. One is very proud and outward, and one is five of earth. But what I feel like is because these successes just aren't long-lived, you're just wanting to give up, or you're wanting to... Um, it's not change course. It's, it's definitely give up. But what we have to realize here, Sag, is that you are the one in control. You are the one in charge of creating the world as you see it. So if the world doesn't seem like a place with good opportunity or possibility, that's because you have created it so. Is there anything else that wants to come out of this card? I will be creating an extended reading for you. Um, and we're going to go deeper into why this impasse is here, why you have created this for yourself. And I will continue to pull other messages. But for the meantime, is there anything else that wants to come out? There seems to be... There seems to be a void or a break between the big picture and the little picture and the small details and the big picture. Kind of the assessment of the world. I need some clarification on that. What does that really mean? The challenge that you're faced with right now, so going back to our original cards here, the challenge that you're faced with right now is to make your inside and your outside worlds match. And I love this, the white snow flows right into her dress. That's so cool, isn't it? Your biggest challenge here is to make the inside and the outside match. So if you find yourself unhappy on the outside, but happy on the inside, that's where your soul is trying to get you to recalibrate. Because it needs to be the same, same on both sides. Because if you're manifesting and receiving you're the same vessel. So your inside needs to reflect your outside. Your outside needs to reflect your inside. You need those two halves to come together. Okay, Sag, I'm going to keep pulling cards for you. Thank you for joining me this far. If you want to keep going, link is in the description below, and I'll see you over there.